the athletic training room, uh, I actually staff the athletic training room. I'm a certified athletic trainer. I have undergraduate students from neighboring colleges from UNC and North Carolina Central also help there. There's also a physical therapist from uh, Duke that comes in two days a week to also help you know, with rehabs and things like that. Um, I work very closely with our clinic uh, here at the school, worry about the kids, make sure that we have all the kids' injuries taken care of, all their medical forms and everything in order. Uh, a lot of the rehabs that your children will do will be done right here on campus. Uh, this way they try not to miss too much school and this way I can have them, you know, here and, and get things done. Uh, in case there's a serious injury, uh, the athletic trainer will usually call the on-call physician, let them know what's going on, and relay the information to that physician. Then the physician with the athletic trainer will make the decision whether the child needs to go to the ER or whatever so the situation to be taken. If they need to go to the ER, they will be transferred by the student life instructor. I will be calling the parent personally, let them know what's going on, and, and this way you be right up in the loop. If the child's going to the ER, you will be able, and you will go and meet them in the ER. Um, I maintain an affiliation with Duke Sports Medicine. Uh, they are very good. Usually if there's an injury and I need to get the child in, I have them in the next day. This will be seen by orthopedics, and this way they, we get done right away. Uh, concussions. Concussions is a very big thing today. If you notice in the paper, there's constantly things going on about concussions. Uh, as, Dr. as Greg Jarvis told you, you will be filling out a form. It will tell you all about concussions, all signs and symptoms. If your child sustains any suspected head injury, it doesn't have to be a concussion, it's suspected, the child will be removed from that competition and will not return to that competition until seen by a physician. We actually have the affiliation with Duke that has a licensed physician in concussions who I send the children to to make sure that they get taken care of. And again, I will not put your child back until I feel that your child is ready to go back there. Um, there is no reason to take any chance with a concussion whatsoever. We have the North Carolina law now that also stipulates this. So this is why it's so strict. It's a very good thing. I will tell you, I've been involved many years. I worked with uh, Dr. Kevin Guskowitz in UNC on some of the largest concussion studies ever. And like I said, when it comes to your child, it's better to be safe than sorry in this thing. I do not want any chance. So please do understand, if your child sustains head injury, they will be removed and will not be going back in until they are cleared. If there is a return to play plan, that will be done by myself. I will be the one to working through them each step to make sure they can get back to return to play. And like I told you, we have a great working relationship with Duke Sports Medicine. I am very lucky. They've been very good to us. And they're always there they're ready to tell us, okay, yes, no, what to do. You can follow NCSSM Athletics on our website at GoUnis.com, on Facebook, and Twitter. Any questions you have, you feel free to contact Greg Jarvis, our athletic director. His email is on the slide below. Thank you very much.